how's it going, Guardians? Bungie just finished their Twitch stream, and they told us what we are going to be earning in the April update. There's a lot to go over. So try to keep up, and let's get through this. Starting off, we are now going to be able to adjust our HUD display opacity, and even completely shut it off. This will be really useful during those times where you need that really nice screenshot, or even for some content creators like myself that wants to get some clips in without the HUD in the way. Very nice, and yes, that is a brand new Taken Ghost Shell, which also means that they fixed the bug where you cannot view the Kingslayer Shell and the Crimson Red Ghost Shell as well. During the stream, they revealed how these Sterling Treasure boxes are going to work. They will be available for the Everse trading, but also there will be rewards for activities during the week, like in the Challenge of Elders. In these Sterling Silver packages, you have one guaranteed item and a few possible items. You can actually go into detail and get a really good view on what the possible rewards can be with these silver treasure boxes. Such as the brand new Taken Ship, the Waning Star. Next up, they have revealed that the infusion rate ratio will now be a 1 to 1 ratio. There will no longer be multiple infusions in order to get that one piece to max level. If the piece that you have is 330 to 335, and let's say you purchased one of the Everse packages and you ended up with one of the helmets, which actually starts at 3 defense, just to keep it at a cosmetic type level, you can infuse a 330 to 335 piece of armor and immediately max it out to 330 or 335 respectively. I didn't really have a problem with the infusion system before, but this is a really cool change. We also got a good look at the new faction armors. Here first is Dead Orbit. <laughs> no, I do not want to wrestle right now, thank you so much. And then we've got, that's extremely rude. That's, uh, the hunters are always kind of arrogant, you know? It's that, it's that roguish sensibility. And then we've got, uh, last but certainly not least, the Titan, who doesn't want my dreams to be dreams. Next is New Monarchy. Awkwardly dancing at the Christmas party. Here's our Hunter. And here is our Titan. Whoa, whoa, let me get out of the way of that. And nice kick. Future War Call. Here we go, the Hunter bathed in red. Mind, well, what is that? What, that was the, I don't know. I don't know. And uh, we've got our Titan <laughs> going, doing some clubbing. And the brand new Taken Desolute armor. Yes, it is armor and not a shader that can be awarded in the Challenge of Elders. Also, the Taken Shotgun will be awarded for the brand new revamped Winter's Run Strike. But wait, there's more. We also have the brand new Spectre Armor set that we saw in some of the previews already. These will be available in the Everse, but also in your weekly Sterling Treasure Box. So that does mean these will start at 3 defense, but you can instantly level them up with the new infusion system 1 to 1 ratio. Now, on to the brand new Chroma Glow system. This is totally separate from the shader system. and. I made a video the other day on what my suspicions were of those two new nodes. Turns out they are not on off buttons, but something similar to it. Each piece starts with a, let's say, default color. It could be white, yellow, red, or blue. Now you'll need a certain currency or unit of a, that certain chroma glow in order to unlock it. So you need two matching colors on this one. Now if you want a different color, the red X on the bottom is actually a reroll system built for the Chroma Glow. So assuming you already picked out your Chroma Glow, you had the unit to match, and you activated it. Let's say it was red. You decided to change to blue, just to mix it up. The way it works is you hit the red X, which will delete that initial red Chroma Glow, and you cannot get it back. You can't get the unit that you used for it, you don't get it back. And if you have a blue Chroma Glow, that's one half of the solution. 
you need to keep re-rolling, keep hitting that red X until it appears blue. And then you can put them, pair them up and activate them. And then you will have the blue glow. It's fairly simple. Check out this Fallen Weapons Chroma Glow. This is going to show that it's going to be a little bit more than just highlighting the edges of the weapon. Just as a side note, Bungie has revealed that the next week they're going to be talking about some weapon balance changes and quote, subclassers are going under the knife. So, uh, Sunsingers, say goodbye to Viking Funeral. It's also been confirmed that Sunbreakers will be reverted back to their original form when Taken King was first released. No, I'm just kidding, but I do believe that Sunbreakers need to be looked at. And for this last part, I could barely contain my excitement, guys. They are bringing back original Year 1 weapons. I'm talking Shadow Price, Badger CCL, Lord High Fixer, Grim Citizen 3, Saturine Rapier, one of my favorite scout rifles, and the classic Devil You Know hand cannon. We're talking about the Swarm, Zombie Apocalypse, guys, the original. And in case you're getting tired of Thousand Yards there, they are bringing the Masters back, the LDR and the Longbow. And then just throw in Toots of the Morgue and the Comedian as one of the more popular shotguns around. The Comedian was before the Fell Winters era. It was a good shotgun. And before I forget, I actually can't believe I forgot about this, but the Taken Sword, guys. It seems to be just a normal legendary sword, so no special ability, but it is confirmed that it is void. Check it out. Nasty. Look at the effects on that. Yes, so it is a, it's a void sword, mm -hmm. and it works with the, the normal sword mechanics and gameplay. Mm -hmm. It's just another option for players. Check you out. Okay, you got one too. Nice. Okay. Framed up. Yep. Activate swords. Go nuts. Good God. Come on, buddy. Looking good, guys. All right, guardians, friends in the audience. Uh, we thank you so much for joining. Well, whew, that was a lot to cover, guys. Hope you enjoyed. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to share, like, and subscribe to my channel for more Destiny content. I'm gonna leave you with the brand new Take an Emote, the Twitch motion. My name is Chit, and I approve this message. And uh, do, we have, uh, do we have the emote that goes along with this armor set? Yeah, so when you finish collecting the set. Oh my, look at them. <laughs> you unlock yeah. the Take and Jitter emote. Awesome. Please try again. All right. Thank you very much, Guardian.